Auto match. Nope. Look, it's a single shot. Okay. Hey, good morning from beautiful Southern Nevada. Hey, this morning we're gonna do a review on the Rock Island TM-22 rifle. So, let's get started. So there's two versions of this rifle. We have the polymer version right here, and the standard version is quite a bit different. It looks the same, except it's uh, basically all aluminum. The uh, buttstock, the receiver, the handguard, all aluminum. Well, on this one, just about everything is polymer. Of course, it has a steel barrel, steel bolt, uh, charging handle, and I believe the trigger is also metal, but everything else is polymer, including the two 10-round magazines that come with this rifle. And on the uh, standard model, the aluminum version, you know, that, that retails for about $400. This one I picked up for just under $200, so big difference there. This one weighs 4.9 pounds. Aluminum version weighs 7 pounds. Right now, uh, let me show you the ammo we're going to shoot, and then uh, we'll get this sighted in, and I will take off this rear sight, put on a red dot, and get that sighted in, and uh, let's just see what happens. I have some CCI 36 grain hollow point ammo, Winchester Super X 40 grain round nose, and Federal Auto Match 40 grain. So again, the rifle did come with two 10 round magazines. You can also get 15 and 25 round magazines. I did pick up a uh, 25 rounder here. So. The only thing I've done so far is I have disassembled this. I ran a dry patch down the bore, put a little lube on it, so the rifle's ready to go. Uh, the magazines. I loaded them up yesterday, unloaded them, I did that several times, and then I reloaded them, and let them sit uh, overnight, fully loaded, so hopefully the springs have set. The manual does say to fire 500 rounds to break this in, which so is a little excessive, but anyways, we're going to start off with CCI, 45 rounds, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Again, CCI. And the bolt does lock back, but the bolt is held back by the magazine. All right, 25 rounds coming up. Oh yeah, you okay? Yeah. Those are kind of hot, huh? Yeah. All right, 45 rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna take this rear sight off and put a red dot on this, but before I take this off, I want to sight it in, so in the future if I ever have to use it, it's, it's already sighted in, ready to go. Uh, the rear sight is fully adjustable though, but right now I'm going to fire a few rounds, get this sighted in, and I'm going to take it off.
All right, dead on. Winchester Super X, 20 rounds. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's jammed in there. Is the case stuck in there? Yeah. Go, go there ahead. it goes. There you go. Finish off those magazines. Alright, All right, we have one little hang up. I'm going to try 25 rounds of the same ammo. Uh oh. Is there a round in there? No. What's going on now? There's no round in there. Wow. Yeah, still got rounds. All right, let's try that Federal Auto Match, see what happens. All right. All right, we're gonna try this Federal Auto Match, 25 rounds. Yep, had a round in there. Huh. Yeah, it was an empty case. It's just not kicking them out. Okay, it's not gonna feed though, so let's yeah. go back and try uh, the CCI again. All right, we're back to the CCI. Let's see what happens. Wow. All right, I guess we're sticking with CCI. Yep. Hey, real quick, one more reliability test. I want to go back to the 10 round magazines. So I'm going to fire 10 rounds of the auto match and then I'll fire 10 rounds of CCI. See if it makes any difference. Auto match. No. Nope. Look, it's a single shot. Okay. That's not going to work. Let's go right back to the CCI. Ten rounds. Yeah. That's uh, that's a pretty good reliability test, I think. Okay, you know, we're still in the early stages of the break-in period, but man, what a what a disaster for Winchester and the Federal Ammo. And we went right back to CCI and bam, 100%. And we did nothing in between. I did not clean the gun. Uh, we used the same magazine. So uh, for the rest of this video, we're just going to stick with the CCI. But right now, I think we're going to set up some targets and uh, have a little fun. Hey, I got that little red dot sighted in, I think, but we're going to set up three of these at 50 yards and see if we can knock them over. All right, dropped one of them, but... So dad, I took this uh, magazine out and the live round isn't ejecting. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fire it off really quick. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. All right, we're gonna try that again, see if it happens. All right, take the magazine out and yeah, it's just not ejecting that live round. Okay, so go ahead and fire it off. All right, I'm gonna try that again and uh, just give it a good yank and see if it pops out here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one thing here. All right, got a loaded round in here. Got my safety on. Okay, it's not coming out, sun come nice and close. You can see the round in there. What I'm gonna do, push on the extractor right here. So that tells me the extractor's probably either dirty or has a weak spring in it. But I'm gonna clean that real good when I get home. Let's do that one more time. No, it's not coming out now. That's that's stuck in there pretty good. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to have some problems with this. And I don't have a cleaning rod with me, unfortunately. So right now, you know, with that other ammo not working, and now with the CCI jamming up like that. Would I recommend this? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home, clean it real good, and do a follow-up video, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll try Remington Golden Bullet and probably uh, something else, but we'll see if we can get this thing working. But right now, a little disappointed. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.